going to start. The first person we decided to, to pick is we just shoot an interview with a person and don't edit it, just run it raw. This one, unfortunately, is with Johnny Lydon. Or fortunately, for your viewers at home, Johnny isn't the easiest person in the world to interview, as you will see. This was done on the West Coast while, while my good friend TDM was on holiday, so an unfortunate, an unfortunate journalist from Vancouver sat in his place and was subject to, uh, to Johnny. Anyway, this is how it ran. Time's in the corner, so you can follow along at home. Here we go. Johnny Lydon, tape in the raw, city limits. The rest of them. Okay, any time, Jack. Okay, you're rolling then. So, John, uh, your new album, how long has it been out now? Well, in a couple of weeks. So, like, February? Thereabouts. And um, it's your 10th album. Um, what did you, anything new and uh, different that you were pursuing particularly on this album? It's got much more melody than what I'm used to, let's put it that way. Yeah, it's a far more pleasant piece of work than what most people expect from me. Uh, we deliberately confined ourselves to a rock sensibility, that's the four walls that we're working within at the moment. And I think it's jolly good for us. It's a nice discipline. You know, I mean, you can be avant-garde forever, and really that becomes very boring. It's too easy. Too easy, so you've done your experimenting and you're... Uh... Not completely, but for the moment, yeah. Because I noticed there is, there seems to be a lot of ex new experimenting on this album. Like you try Well, within the confines of what, what is cliché called rock. Yeah vague term in itself. Mm -hmm. But it is generally more traditional, not as far as, you know, four chords kind of thing, but accessible, you think? You think it's like more accessible to more people? I doubt that. <laughs> Have to be honest. You know, this voice is not your average. Other people find me extremely irritating. So uh, you're generally happy with the outcome of it, and um, how's the uh, reviews been? I don't read reviews. I couldn't care less about that. I know it's a fine piece of work. And that's all that matters. And no third-rate journalist is going to tell me otherwise. But just the buzz around town, do you f has it uh, gone over any differently I in the States? I don't listen to gossip. So you're um, happy with it, moving on to new projects? Well, yes. I mean, we've already started writing a new one. It's the way it is. So, um, you've got, uh, are these new members on your tour as opposed to the album? There are two new members for the tour, yes. We lost the old drummer, which was no loss at all, really, now that I come to think of it. Uh, we've got Mike Joyce at the moment, who used to be with the Smiths, I believe, and uh, Teddy Chow, who has toured with us in the past. And your, um, who was the producer on this album and what sort of uh, input did he have? Dave Jordan. He was useful and not expensive. Is this the first time you've used him and you think he's um, made the, the sound of the album any much more different than the other ones? Or uh... Well, we wanted a guitar-based record and that's what he's very good at, is getting very good guitar sounds. So. Yes, we're pleased. Just as far as like, uh, you know, rock and roll in general, just like what you were saying about being more closer to uh, guitar rock and stuff like that, are you, uh, what are your thoughts of, are you fed up with um, a lot of, uh, I don't know, how the uh, masses of people are like leaning more towards guitar rock, you think, at all? Oh, uh, they, I thought they were running into disco at full speed and sampling and all that cliched nonsense out there. Can't bear that stuff. It's just too trivial for me. Do you think that there's a lot of people who, um, say, listen to more pared down um, rock and roll like 10 years ago and then there's a new generation of people now who who uh, see someone with green hair walking down the street and have no, you know, they grew up with it since, you know, like 16 year olds now, they grew up with people with green hair. Um, do you think that's, uh, what Why do you think do you about that? with these things? I don't care what the next person's wearing or looks like. Neither should you. 
No, well, what do you think about these, uh, you know, people like that? Uh, do you think that, uh, um, you know, 16-year-olds who are into punk rock, do you think they're into the same reasons uh, as people were 12 years ago? I couldn't care less. It doesn't bother me. It's nothing to do with me. Right. So you're, um, the tour, how far are you into it in the uh, beginning of April here? Three weeks so far. It looks like another agonizing three weeks to go. How far are you going with it? Just North America? Uh, all over, yes. All over America. Just the one little Canadian visit. Sorry, folks. <laughs> you just ain't got the kind of money I'm interested in. You've been to Vancouver before. What do you think of Vancouver? <laughs> That'll ruin my career. <laughs> You've been to Vancouver. Have you done much uh, exploring around? Yeah, we play, we play up here quite a lot. Your uh, original drummer was from Vancouver. Yeah, he was. But God knows where he is now. You don't hear from those people that much anyway? Well, he's deeply mentally disturbed, so he could be anywhere on this planet. Poor Jim Walker. Miss you, mate. <laughs> What is the name of the new single? And uh, tell us about it. It's called Covered, and it's, it's about the thrills and wonders of sex. With or without condoms. So have you changed your attitude towards sex over the years? No. It just takes longer now. Um, Covered is a uh, completely different sounding song than uh, anything Public Image has done before. Was that, uh, did you start off uh, going, you know, at the end of the last album, say, I'm going to go ahead and do this, or is this something that just gradually happened? Well, it's a part of the album, isn't it? It's, and I've already run into that, explained why this album sounds the way it does. I'm not going to repeat myself. Or make your job any easier. Hmm. <laughs> uh, is there a uh, video coming up for the... Yeah, it's out now. MTV have got it on what I think is called medium rotation. So where did you shoot that? In, um... Tijuana, Mexico, in front of a live audience. It was good fun. Uh, you've done a lot of videos. What sort of uh, input do you have when you... Uh when it's decided that you're going to go ahead? I tell them what to do and they do it, and then it works out okay. To what extent? Broadly in pre-production? I don't like making videos. I just tell them what I want and that's it. And the cheapest and the quickest way around it is all I'm interested in. Because they are, after all, just merely commercials. And I learned years ago that the, the cheaper looking the commercial, the more effect it has. Do you think that bands should be, ob should be obligated to have a video? No, but it is a necessity. You'd be, you'd be a fool not to make one because that would be really just cutting your nose off to spite your face. You have to promote, you have to let people know you've got product out there or else you starve or you die of insignificance. Speaking of insignificance, um, that reminds me of a film by Nicholas Rogue. You were also in a, a f one of his films. Do you have... Uh, Was I? It's news to me. Corrupt. <laughs> Wasn't that a Nicholas Rogue, Rogue film? No. Who did that? Roberto Faenza. Oh, well, sorry, it was just off the top of my head, but... Um, <laughs> I'm completely wrong. <laughs> do you have other uh, plans for film? Like you no. Not interested whatsoever? No, because the offers have been rubbish, so, you know, no, I'm, I'm not pursuing anything in that area. I don't want to become a Hollywood bum like the rest of them. But if you could use a film as uh, another artistic forum, if, unquote, to uh, get some ideas across, if the right project came up? If. That's an awful lot of ifs. Does uh, Public Image have any plans for, say, um, uh, concert films or anything? No. Visual in, in any sort of... No. Where are you living right now? London. And uh, 
you seem to be moving back and forth. Last I heard, you were in the States. And I work a lot. I am always where my work takes me. <sighs> Got any broad plans after the tour? <laughs> no. <laughs> I expected all this. Let's call it a day then. I'm fine. Okay, well, <laughs> well let me... You're obviously stumped. Well, I just... Uh, not necessarily. Uh, got any... Um, no. <laughs> Tatty boy. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. My pleasure. <laughs>